Hi everyone, this is Keith Keo from the British Drum Company. Um, I'm here today with Drummers On uh, from Holland and we're doing something really special uh, today for you guys. We are launching a brand new snare drum and this was the very first one we have made. We're going to take you down and show you the process of this snare drum being made from start to finish, from veneer to the complete drum. And one lucky winner is going to win this. Let's go take a walk through British Drum Company and show you how we made this fine snare drum. So this snare drum is made from 11 plies of maple with an outer finish of figured eucalyptus and basically this is where it all begins right here. So here we just have a stock of raw veneer maple and here you can see the outer ply which is the eucalyptus. So I'm marking out the veneer to the right diameter and depth here by hand and cutting it by hand with a Stanley knife. This that I'm right now is going to be the inner of a snare drum and all our drums are made out of a mix of two ply and three ply layers. And here I'm going to use this heat proof tape for stitching it all together so there's no gaps in the veneers. Now it's pressed. We've got the vertical grain going this way then the, the horizontal going that way gives it a lot of strength it means you can mold it you can see the effort and the attention to detail we put into even the plies that you don't even see on a drum kit what goes into the center again the click so it just naturally clicks into place now this is what we call our cold press molding technique we let our plies acclimatize the shell stays in the mold for about four hours and then about another 24 hours before it's worked on so this is a maple shell with the outer veneer of figured eucalyptus the shell looks kind of rough when it first comes out of the mold but later on in the next stages you'll see how we transform this shell into a finished drum So we have a full range of jigs for doing any type of drum that we could possibly imagine. So, for example, in this case, we're doing a 14-inch snare. And again, it's a, there's a misconception. People think that the problem is you, get, you make mistakes in the drilling, but you don't. You make mistakes in the marking out. You can't really drill it wrong if it's marked accurately. Just gently kiss the shell to make sure you're lined up accurately. Tim is now going to demonstrate the bearing edge cutting, how we basically cut the bearing edges. What he's doing here is simply cutting it and he's now doing the outer edge. Tim is doing what we call hand cutting the snare beds. So each snare bed is, hand, is cut by hand with the router jig and then it's precisely filed into place. First and foremost, the all soaks into the wood, into all its fibres and it actually protects the wood or the shell from the environment. It also obviously gives it a, a real nice lustre as you can see here. Thank awesome. 